In this video we're going to demonstrate how to allocate a payment on account to an invoice. This could be for a customer record or a supplier record and also the same process applies if you need to allocate a credit note to an invoice. You start by going into bank accounts, selecting the relevant bank account although no money will go in or out of the account all we're doing is allocating the transactions and then choosing either supplier payment or customer receipt. In this demonstration we're going to use a customer account. If we then choose the relevant customer, in this example A1 Design Services, click OK. That then lists the outstanding transactions on the customer's account. So as you can see we've got two transactions, transaction 251 which is a SA transaction, a payment on account, and also transaction 252, an SI which is a sales invoice. We just want to allocate the two together. So we're going to start with the payment on account transaction. So we click into the receipt column and we want to allocate the full £120 of the payment on account to the invoice. So we can either type in the value in the receipt column 120 or in this case we'll just click pay in full at the top. We then repeat this process of typing in the relevant value into the receipt column for the invoice. Now because we're not paying off the invoice in full, we're not actually receiving any additional money, all we want to do is allocate the value of the payment on account to the invoice to leave us with £120 of the invoice outstanding. So in the receipt column, we'll just type in 120 Just before you click save, you should check the amount at the top is zero because you're not receiving any additional money, you're just allocating transactions and also the analysis total in the bottom right corner should also be zero. If they're both zero, we click save. And that's the transactions allocated together. If we call up that account again, so A1 Design Services, click OK, and as you can see, it now only lists the invoice, transaction 252, and if we look at the amount column, there's £120 left outstanding. 